You can swim right over. Did you just feel the elements of the world? Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of Animo! As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. It's a bit rude to say that about the power the gods just gave you. If we keep heading west from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of Animo. So perhaps because you got power from the god of Animo, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your brother. Let's move, then! The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign.
I'll keep this close. Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? talking to the dragon. Yeah, Paimon gets why you're worried. Oh, what's that? There's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there. Let's go take a closer look. Be careful, Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here! <laughs>
May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? Hey! That's even worse than being a mascot! So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake! Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? suspicious travelers what are you doing in Mondstadt she got separated from her brother during a really really long journey Paimon is her travel buddy helping her to find her brother oh looking for your family huh uh... okay let me finish my other stuff first and then I can help you put up posters around the city what exactly is it you need to finish doing first it's simple. You'll understand in a bit. Wow! These will come in handy!
来。Have been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. Nothing to it. Though I've got to say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed, and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Like running. Jean will be upset if she catches us lazing around like this. <laughs> wow, these 
will come in handy. I'd win. I feel like running. 